welcome to the video session of uh, microcontroller and embedded system laboratory uh, in this session we will study the 13th experiment that is interface DAC and generate triangular and square waveforms so, so here in this uh, experiment we will see first the information about DAC and then the program code to generate triangular and square waveforms using internal DAC as well as external DAC. Now we will see first what is a DAC. So DAC is a digital to analog converter. So LPC 2148 based on uh, ARM 7TD MI processor has got internal DAC compared to other microcontroller. So this processor LPC 2148 based on uh, ARM 7 my uh, TDMI uh, this one microcontroller contains internal DAC. That is the beauty of this processor. So DAC is a digital to analog converter which will convert digital value into analog voltage and most used, uh, used to generate analog signals. So LPC2148 has got 10-bit 10 10, 10 uh, DAC and uh, this DAC with the resistor string architecture and it also works in power down mode. So it has got 10-bit DAC. Let us understood, uh, understand what is 10-bit DAC. So 10-bit DAC in the sense like you can give 10-bit value, digital value, 10-bit digital value as an input and you will get corresponding analog output voltage. So if the, if you use 10-bit DAC then what is the resolution? Resolution in the sense like what is the, what, uh, like what is the input ranges you can give? So input ranges is something like, let me write here, you can give the input value from Zero, zero, 0 that is 10 bit this value to maximum value so this this is the like the this value is 0 and this value is nothing but uh, 1024 but according to the formula you can give input value from 0 to 2 raised to power n minus 1 that is 2 raised to power 10 minus 1 that is the value is uh, 0 to 120, uh, 1023 so when you give the input 0 to 1, 1023 this is the input 0 to maximum value 0 to 123 then you will get the corresponding analog output voltage that is from that will range from 0 to 3.3 voltage because it is because we are taking V reference voltage is equal to 3.3 because LPC 2148 uh, works based on 3.3 uh, 3.3 volt so so when you give value between 0 to 1 uh, 1023 the output will vary from 0 to 3.3 so for the corresponding input value for example if you give the input value 781 the corresponding output value you will get uh, if you get uh, give digital value 789 then you will get the corresponding analog value that will be between 0 to 3.3 now we will see now this is the uh, pin configuration or uh, uh, pin diagram of LPC2148 it is based on ARM7 TDMI it has got 64 pin and it is a SMD and it is called as a low power uh, LPC means low power consumption it will consume less power because of because of its uh, rigid design so here 16 pins are on each side you can see here so total it has got 64 pins so in the 64 pins some pins has got four functions you can see here some pins has got four function like for example pin number one which is mapped to pin number port, uh, port 0 21 pin which acts like a general purpose input output pin 
other than that it has got second uh, function second alternative function or third alternative function or fourth alternative function but some pin for example pin number 3 has got only one function pin number 4 has got two function like that pin number 9 here pin number 9 has got three functions so that is first uh, like uh, first uh, function is it acts like uh, general input output GPIO general input uh, general, general purpose input output second uh, it can work like AD 0.4 third function is it can work like uh, analog out that means it will provide analog out for the corresponding uh, input value corresponding uh, corresponding digital value it will provide the analog output that means you have to measure the output uh, at uh, pin number 025 4025 4025 or physical pin number 9 so physical pin number 9 is mapped to port 025 so like this uh, here the maximum function for assigned for each pin is uh, 4 minimum function is 1 so in order to assign in order to select the particular functionality of the pin you need to use pin select register you need to configure pin select register now what is a pin select register we will move to that one what is a pin select register so as i said lpc2148 contains 64 pins so this 64 pins are divided into port 0 and port 1 port 0 contains 32 pins and port 1 contains 32 pins so port 0 uh, 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 pins are further classified as port 0 0.0 to port 0 0.15 and port 0 0.16 to port 0 0.31 port 1 as classified as port 1.0 to 1.15 and port uh, 1.16 to 1.31 in that uh, these pins I mean port 0 0.0 to 0 0.15 0 0.16 to 0 0.31 and 1.16 to 1.31 you can configure as a general purpose input output this pin you cannot configure as a general purpose input output general purpose input output means you can connect you can uh, configure that pin as either input uh, input pin or output pin so these pins like around 48 pins you can configure as a general purpose input output pin to configure 48 pin set as a general purpose input output pin you know like there are 48 pins out of that 45 pins are can be used as a general purpose input output. 3 pins cannot be used for general purpose input output let us let us take it as a 48 pins so this 48 pins maximum 4 functionality you can define minimum 1 so to define how you can define 4 functionality to define 4 functionality let me take 2 bits like bit 1 and bit 2 and if bit 1 and bit 2 is 0 0 it will uh, it will shows the first, it will acts like a first first functionality if the bit z a bit 1 bit 2 uh, b1 is 1 0 and b1 is uh, b2 is 1 then 0 on combination it will like acts like second functionality this is the first functionality 1 0 it uh, acts like a third functionality 1 1 it acts like a fourth functionality it works like a fourth functionality so if I use two bits, then I can configure four functionality. So in order to configure 48 bits of port 0 and port 1, to configure 48 bits, sorry, 48 pins I with the various functionality, for each pin I need two bits. For 48 pins, I need 96 bits. That's why what I do is I will take three registers uh, that is called as pin select 0, pin select 1 and pin select 2. These all these are 32 bit register 32, 32, 32. You will get 96 bits. By 96 bits uh, you can configure 48 pins uh, with various functionalities. Clear? By using 96 bits you can configure 48 bits uh, with the various uh, functionality now let me clear this one so so these three pin select registers i am using 
that is the first one is pin select register 0 it is not uh, 1 it is 0 then second one is the 1 third one is a I mean pin select register 0 pin select register 1 and pin select register 2 so these three registers are 32 each bits each and it is used to configure 96 bits now how it will be configured we'll see so you can see here So you can see here we are using three pin select register, uh, register that is first one is this one. First uh, three pin select register, pin select zero, this one, pin select zero, pin select one, pin select two. So, so in pin select zero, pin select one, pin select two, all contains 32 pins. 0, 1, 2, 3 till 31. Now, by using pin select 0 register, you can configure port 0 dot 0 pin to port 0 dot 15. By using pin select 1 register, you can configure port 0 dot 16 to port 0 dot 31. By using pin select 2 register, you can configure port 1 dot 16 to port 1 dot 31. So, in our case, I am using internal DAC here to show the demonstration. In internal DAC, P025 gives pin number, port number 025 gives analog output. So, this gives analog output. Pin 025 gives analog output. In This is the third function of this pin. In order to configure the third function, you need to set the bit 19 and 18 in pin select register 1 bit number 19 and 18 to 10 zero. because 00, zero indicate first function 0 1 indicate second function 10 zero indicate third function so third function of uh, pin 0 uh, port 0 dot 25 is a out so that's why what i do is uh, here 19 and 18 i will configure like 10 zero. i will configure like 10 zero. Rest to all pins, I will configure 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, something like this. All bits, I, I will configure all bits of pin select register 1 to 0. So, all bits I will make 0. So, when you make all bits 0, this 4, 0 equal to 1 hexadecimal digit. So, this is 0 in hexa, this is 0 this is 0 in hexa this is 0 and this one is 8 other than that this one is 0 this one is 0 this one is 0 that means the pin select register 1 value is select pin select 1 register value is 0 x 0 0 0 8 0, 0, 0, 0. That is, it is a 32 bit number. In hexadecimal, you will get a, a total 8 digit. So, each digit can be represented by 4 bit numbers, 4 bit in binary. So, this is the value you should remember here. This is the value. So, now let me take you to some other uh, information about the uh, pin configuration. So let me erase this one. So here you can see we have total you can see let me take you to the other slide here. We have total here like 
four pins you need to remember the first pin is uh, pin number 25 where you will find out you will uh, get uh, where you will get analog output voltage second one is uh, second one is uh, pin number 63 that is where we are going to give V reference voltage third pin is uh, ground and uh, power like uh, VDD and VSS so third and fourth pin like pin number 7 and pin number 59 so we need to remember here pin number 25 and pin number that is port number uh, port 0 25 then pin number 63 pin number 7 pin number 59 let me take you to the diagram once again here this diagram so so here you can see first one is the pin number 0 point uh, port now uh, like port 0 and uh, 25 this is mapped to physical pin number 9 actually physical pin number 9 is mapped to port 0 25 and uh, this is the first function second function and third function is analog out and other than that, uh, we have direct pin number 7. You see pin number 7. This is act like uh, uh, ground and uh, ground. Then pin number uh, 59. You can see here pin number 59. Ground and power. Like this is power and this is the ground. Then we have one more V reference. Pin number 63. 63. With the here we are giving V reference voltage. So you need to understand the totally 4 pins are used. Uh, along with the internal DAC. Clear. Now, so, this internal DAC contains a register. That register is nothing but a digital to analog control register. Digital to analog control register or converter register this is a 32 bit register so in this 32 bit you need to enter the value i told you the value is uh, you have to enter between 0 to 1023 10 bit you need to enter this 10 bit in uh, in the bit between 6 and 15 because bit 0 to 5 is reserved and uh, bit uh, 15 to 17 is reserved and 17 to 31 is reserved so you need to enter the value in this place like uh, bit number 6 to 15 that is a 10 bit value you have to enter here and that value will be converted uh, to the analog so how it will be converted so let me go to the other slide how it will be converted it will be converted based on this formula so v value divided by 1024 into v reference for example, I will enter the value something like I will enter the value maximum value 1111111111. This is nothing but 1023. So here, when you enter 1023, you need to enter the value in the binary digital form. Then the corresponding output voltage is calculated. So V reference is 3.3 volt. So you will get here approximately 3.3 volt so for this is the this is the output voltage for the maximum input value so student this is the program uh, to generate a square wave by using internal DAC. Here you need to connect the CRO to FRC5 uh, uh, connector first pin and the ground pin. So uh, we are using a chipmax board in our lab. So uh, in that board, let me take you to the pin configuration of that board. So in that board, this is the FRC5 connector, this is the 10 pin connector. This is a 10 pin connector and here this is a pin number 1 and this is the pin number 10 ground this is the pin number 1 so let us let us see this this 
this pin uh, this first pin is connected to zero point uh, like pin zero to uh, port zero twenty five pin of uh, LPC two one four eight. So this is the connector actually. This is internally connected to this one, LPC two one four eight. So we will see the configuration of this uh, FRC five U configuration details, pin configuration details of FRC five U. You will see here. FRC5 pin number 1 is nothing but uh, it is uh, connected uh, to port 025 pin port 025 pin and pin number 10 is nothing but ground so you need to connect uh, the CRO to this pin and uh, you should need to connect the CRO's ground to this pin so CRO to this pin and ground to this pin so now Now this is the program. So in this program, I am using uh, uh, header file LPC two one four X. So this is a generic file. This will work for four uh, X like LPC two one four X board, like either two one four eight or four five board. So this is the header file required for the particular board. Then I am I am like defining the delay uh, by using this function. So here you can see the delay is defined by using a variable i and j. By using for loop. So next, uh, the main function. In the main function, I am taking one value. Uh, like uh, I will take one variable value uh, of type int, and I will assign this variable with the x a value zero x three f f. This is x a value zero x three f f. This is equivalent to this is equivalent to one zero two three in binary uh, decimal. This is equivalent to one zero two three in decimal. Then I have I will configure pin select one register with this value as explained earlier. Then in the while loop, uh, what I will do is uh, I will take uh, uh, I will assign this value after si shifting six times to the left uh, to the DSCR register. I will assign this value after sh shifting. Six times to the left uh, to DSCR register. Why I am assigning this value? So let us see this one. Otherwise, students will have doubt. So let me take you to this diagram here. So when you, if you assign one zero two three directly, if you assign one zero two three directly, then one zero two three is a ten bit value that will uh, here. Assigned to first ten bits, that will be assigned to first ten bits, like zero 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 to zero to nine. But we need to write the value in this in this bits. So what I uh, what we do is uh, we will take the value, like uh, let let me take the maximum value, and I will left shift it by six time. That time this becomes one 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 one. One one zero 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 zero. From left hand side, right hand right hand side zero will move. So now this will this value will fit here in this range. So for that purpose, I am using that left shift. So what I am doing is I will assign that value. That is the uh, this value. This is the maximum value. So that time you will get the output something like this. Uh, maximum output you will get uh, like output analog output you will get something like this. Uh, then I will call delay. After that, after that I will assign the value zero. That time this becomes zero. And one second I will call delay. This will repeat. Uh, this will repeat and this will produce this type of waveform, square waveform. So now next one is uh, how to generate the triangular waveform. To generate the triangular waveform, this is a program. In the triangular waveform, once again, in the main program, I will set the pin select register is equal to this value, as I explained earlier. Now in the while loop, I will take one for loop. In the for loop, I will uh, increment the uh, j variable from zero to one twenty three, and each time I will assign that to DSCR DSCR register uh, by shifting left shifting six times. 
For example, first I will assign six by left shifting uh, six bit. Then I will assign. I will take one. When j becomes one, I will assign one by shifting shifting left shifting uh, to DAC register. That means the, your output to waveform will start from zero. Then it will slowly increase as uh, when it reaches to 1023. Then we have one more loop where we will decrement that value. So this becomes a uh, this becomes like this. And once again, this increases and uh, in this fashion, and you will get a triangular waveform. So now we will see the program how it executes uh, in the Kiel version four. Kiel version four. So in Kiel version four, let me open Kiel my uh, Kiel uh, Microvision version four. <coughs> let me close the project here and open the existing project. I have already uh, one project is made for this purpose. So I will open that project. I will go to the particular folder. In that particular folder, that is hardware folder, the experiment number thirteen is uh, I have project file here. So you can see here, uh, this is the triangular view. Uh, like uh, this is the program written for triangular view. First, let me add square view program. So I will remove this one for time being. Sorry, I will remove triangular view for time being. So the program is written here. You can see this is whatever I explained. Same program is written here. Now what I will do is. Uh, I will set the target uh, options uh, because I am going to generate EXA file to dump this code into microcontroller. So let me go to option, select the device LPC2148, then target uh, 12 megahertz and use microlib. Then output uh, you need to enable uh, create EXA file. It will be disabled. You need to enable. Then listing you need to enable C processor listing. After that, linker unit enable use memory layout for target dialog. Once you do this one, you go for uh, compilation. Sorry, let me close this one and let me open this file. So you go for compilation. So it's it says zero errors and zero warnings. Then uh, build it. So it has created exa file in the project name. Then uh, rebuild if it is required. So after that, you need to dump this code to the dump this code to the uh, flash uh, like uh, uh, to the microcontroller by using by using flash magic. So here you have flash magic. So. The flash magic is used to dump the code, extra code. So you need to do the necessary settings: uh, com port, baud rate, and uh, oscillator settings. Then you need to select the file. You need to select the particular file. After that, you need to click on start. You will see at the end of this video, you will see that demo. So now we will try to simulate this one uh, in the software itself. Uh, so for simulating, let me go to debug. Open debug. Now, let me click on the logic analyzer. So here you can see logic analyzer. I will go to setup. Here some variables are there. I will delete it, and I will create a variable that is output. That is a out. So let me create a variable to display. So. Close this one. Once this is done, go for once to execute this program by pressing this uh, F5 button. It will run the program at once. So here you can see the square wave. You can see the square wave. So you can use this uh, zoom in and zoom out button to check the waveform. Now stop the debugging. And now select one more file that uh, triangular waveform. So remove this file. Add one more file. 
that is triangular file uh, this one close this one go to tr this file this will generate triangular waveform compile this file build rebuild debug so here use the analyzer now you start the execution of program at once and here you can see this is the triangular wave so like this uh, you can generate a triangular wave sine wave etc so after this uh, you will see the uh, real demonstration actual demonstration of this program in the lab thank you for your cooperation